Hi, I'm Malit Chachere and welcome to this special series of Earth from Space interviews on the European Space Agency Web TV. Thousands of people are currently debating possible political countermeasures to climate change at the COP21 summit in Paris. The UN Framework Convention on Climate Change has long recognized the need for global observations of so-called essential climate variables, which we at ESA are providing from satellite data within its climate change initiative. Some of the leading scientists on the essential climate variables have been kind enough to explain just what they're measuring within their project, why it's needed, and what it is good for. Let's go take a look. When Greenland loses mass and the glaciers retreat, this means that the sea level rise. So that has a big concern way outside the borders of Greenland. That's why we are primarily working with the Greenland ice sheet. And we know that it has been losing a lot of mass. It's been accelerating. It's the biggest source of sea level rise right now, which comes from the glaciers and the ice sheets. We're looking at the satellite data from many different missions, measuring the heights, measuring the velocities, looking how the glaciers retreat. And many of these data have not been compiled systematically before. We have improved our ice sheet uh, change data, among other, by the European satellite Envisat, which have been up since uh, 2002 up to 2012, give us a very nice time series of the height changes. We can see how the ice sheet melt is accelerating out on the edges of the ice sheet and glaciers moving a lot faster. <laughs> 